Something just flashed. It's raining. I don't hear any thunder, but, you know. Okay, then. <laughs> anyway. Fuck. I can't type my own fucking link. Okay. Impulsive stream. Entirely impulsive. This is literally just 110% impulsive because I'm bored and because I feel like it. Oh, that link did not work. Wait, that link did not work. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Whoopsie. Alright. Oh, no, duh, it didn't work. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Shocker, I'm a dumbass. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> explanation as to why I'm uh, streaming this. Oh, hello! Hi! I, I did not, honestly, did not expect anybody to show up. <laughs> um. Yeah, honestly, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is just because, uh, I recently discovered this ARG, and I just super fucking into it, so I'm like, you know what? Why the hell not? It seems cool. It is cool. I'm gonna explore it, because it makes me happy. Um, so, I am... One second, I'm looking for something... That's all I'm looking for. Is it this? Yes! There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to attach a piece of art from the thing to the announcement. Because, obviously. Um, oh my god, why does it scroll so far forward? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. It's super fucking cool. Okay. So, uh... see. Oh, fuck. This is not working out. <laughs> give me the screen of it, please! I can't fucking save it! Why? Yeah, just, just give me the image, please. Please? Okay, so let me, let me go to the main page so that I can I can show you basically sort of what it's all about. So, welcome home. With a hop, skip, and a jump, you are ushered into the colorful, serendipitous world of Welcome Home. It only takes one stroll down the neighborhood to know that this is just a nice little place. Oh, this is just the nicest little place you've ever seen. Watch Wally, who is this guy up here, and his colorful array of friendly neighbors learn about the vibrant world around them and take part in nonsensical fun. Welcome to Welcome Home. Welcome to the Welcome Home website. Feel free to explore our humble homepage and learn more about a puppet show now lost to obscurity. Thank you for visiting. Super freaking cool. This I'm super confused about. I'm super confused about these fucking numbers because not only are all of them pointing up to it, which is strange in and of itself, but I've seen other people go through this and the number is completely different for them. The Smilebot ARG? No, I haven't actually. Ooh. Okay. Oh, fuck. No, it's off. Okay. Going forward. ARG. 
Images. Give me my baby boy. Give me my baby boy. I fucking love this ARG so much. And I've I've only seen so much of it so far. Obviously, there's it a lot still in progress for it. But it it's so cute and so well made. So I'm very, very excited about it. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. The Discord bot that turns into a game in the server. Oh, that is interesting. Next. Okay. Alrighty. And making an announcement on Twitter, even though nobody gives a fuck about my Twitter. <laughs> if I'm going to be quite honest with you. Um... Home. Fuck. Welcome home. Puppet show. Welcome home ARG. Welcome home ARG. ARG. Cool. Okay. Uh, I found out about ARGs from. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Oh, fuck. Whoopsie daisy. <gasps> oh yay! <laughs> oh, my uh, one of my mods slash online friends, uh, Catnip, is gonna be joining in. I'm very pleased. I'm very excited. Okay, so allow me to introduce you to the characters. We're gonna go through the neighborhood real quick, so I can show you to the characters. Uh, where should we start? I think we're gonna end off here. Uh, let's start up here. Julie. Oh, she's so fucking cute. Actually, wait. Before we go through the character... No. Should I go through the characters first, or should I go through the... I'm gonna go through the characters first, yeah. Undoubtedly the cheeriest neighbor a puppet could ask for. Julie Joyful is Welcome Home's happiest resident. Amidst such a uh, rainbow of brightly colored neighbors, that's really saying something. Upbeat, silly, and always ready to play with her friends, there's never a boring day in Welcome Home when she's around. She is Frank's best friend. According to Uncovered Scripts, uh, Julie was a rainbow monster that was said to have come from deep within the forest that surrounded the outskirts of Home. Home is the town that they live in, by the way. It's literally just called Home. Uh, she lived with her family in a cave, but sought out a life of her own and moved away. Many of her skits and activities centered around playing games, whether they were familiar as jump rope or in hopscotch or simply made up on a whim. She, often depict, uh, she was often depicted with Frank as a comedy foil on merchandise and advertising and in the song fun in your, The Fun in Your Frown. No, frown. Fuck. No track. Recent evidence has revealed that Julie's family consisted of three siblings who were also rainbow monsters, but with greatly differing color palettes. Their names were B, Franny, and Jonesy, but they do not appear to have lived in home alongside her. There is also a prevalent theme of flowers. This can be seen with Julie herself looking like an open flower from above, and illustrations that would reveal her speaking to flowers to make them bloom. Aw, sweetheart! Sally is one of my favorites. I like her design a lot. She's super cute. Mostly because it reminds me of Sundrop, but I digress. <laughs> The most rambunctious resident in the wel in Welcome Home, Sa Sally Starlet, sorry, shines above the rest. She is a firecracker who is willing to let her imagination run wild in the name of a new adventure, albeit at the occasional expense of her more cautious neighbors. Thankfully, she's got a good head on her shoulders, and perhaps one could even say a sunny disposition to match. All right. <clears throat> According to an uncovered script, Sally had once been the brightest star in the sky, even more than those that surrounded her. However, upon looking down a nearby celestial body from her spot, she knew there were still places she had yet to truly shine, and fell from above as a shooting star. She has seemingly accomplished her aspired stardom, as there are only nine visible neighbors in home, all of whom know her. Sally was often focused on the aspects of the theater, such as acting or singing, which she felt she was more well-versed at from being a star. Uh... Because of this, many of her segments often consisted of the entire ensemble of neighbors, with her playing the role of the director. Huh. The residents would act out stories on a stage, either for the viewer or other neighbors, that would be displayed in the show as, a, as story time segments. Many were focused on fairy tales with an abnormal turn, either at Sally's will or her expense, typically through Barnaby's presence and desire to entertain. Concept artwork revealed that Sally was a live hand puppet, but required an additional hand to help move her head, as it was much larger, larger than the other puppets. 
cute, cute, cute. All right, who's next? Puppy! Perhaps the most frantic, frazzled, and feathered neighbor in... Whoa, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just check the stuff in the things. Okay. Shit. Okay. <clears throat> Perhaps the most frantic, frazzled, and feathered neighbor in Welcome Home, Poppy Partridge? Partridge. Partridge. Yeah. Sorry, I can't speak English. Is uh, the resident chicken, so to speak. From a sprained... Wait. A sprained beak to sunburnt feathers, she's always thinking about the worst outcome of a pleasant situation. Then again, it never hurts to have a neighbor with a band-aid on hand. Dude, she is just like me for real. Holy shit. Old scripts outlined that Poppy had lived with her family in a nest that had been tucked away in a tree hollow deep within the forest, but that she would eventually outgrow to a staggering degree. Uh, she would move into an empty, empty barn and home, of which she would give a bird's touch. Poppy insisted she could find some iterations of her dialogue, most notably in her journey to home. There is no evidence in this throughout the show's run. It is uh, also not clear what kind of bird she is. As she stated, she is a bit of a flamingo on her father's side and a bit of a hen on her mother's side. Uh, she has also noted, it's hard to keep track of a family tree. A lot of birds fit in trees, you know. Cutie! Puppy's puppet is a walk-around puppet that concept work noted stood around eight feet tall, but photographs surrounding her height have been have yet to be uncovered. Poppy was rarely seen outside of her barn, typically being uh, visited by neighbors instead. Many of her segments focus on baking, although she has been shown uh, knitting, but she did not have a live hand counterpart, so the other puppets were often doing her work for her in various skits. Illustrations note that some possible assistants were Frank, Eddie, Howdy, and Sally. In the context of the show, this is because she was too scared to use appliances. Oh, sweet baby. Alright. Eddie! Reliable, kind, and ever-determined, Eddie Deer is the best mailman Welcome Home has ever had, albeit the only one. Despite being a bit of a clumsy and forgetful fellow, Eddie loves his job and always manages to deliver everyone's mail right on schedule. Damn, good work, dude. Eddie was a mail carrier who moved into home from a distant town uh, in order to establish a post office there, that of which was known as Eddie's Post Office. Despite having a written origin, uh, Eddie had never stated the correct name of where he came from throughout the show's run. The running joke often had him stating a place that did not exist, followed by an omission of, to misremembering it as a place uh, he delivered to as opposed to a place he lived. Eddie's segments would often focus on the arts and craft projects, uh... On arts and craft projects, he would teach to other residents, which tep which typically kept him behind in the post office. Kept fuck. Sorry, I cannot read. Kept him behind the post office countertop. Uncovered printed material focused on preparing mail correctly, whether it was letters or parcels. Uh, okay, then Eddie would frequently be found in the neighborhood itself, often paired with a mail bag or a prop to be delivered. He would also become actively involved in skits uh, involving the other neighbors, usually through providing solutions to others' problems through labor. Unlike Howdy's Place, Eddie's post office did not require compensation for its services. Home's residents could come and go as they pleased before the day would end. Illustrated pages also noted that Eddie had a mother who was a mail carrier, but she was not given a name and is only vaguely mentioned. Could come and go as they pleased before the day would end. So one consistent thing... That is, well, not consistent, but one thing that is definitely noted throughout this, um, this, is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> this website in the series is that nighttime seems to be an event that does not exist within canon. As in the sense of, as, like, everyone finishes up everything before the day ends, and they always talk about stuff like that, so... I don't exactly know what that'll amount to in the future, but I digress. Howdy's Place. Howdy Pillar is uh, Welcome Home's friendliest and happiest shopkeeper. Fuck. <laughs> I should put on. I should put on some music. Hold on. Wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw on some. 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 Some chill music real quick. Hold on. Fuck. Oh shit! Hi. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I entirely forgot that was my um my follow notifications 
All right, let's get something chill because I'm not feeling like anything too intense right now. Um, or do you want to hold the flower? Yeah, sure. This will work. Why the fuck isn't desktop audio work? Oh, it's not on my headphones. <laughs> it's on the wrong headphones. I don't care. I'm so dumb. Do, do, do. Bing. Okay, let me start this over. Okay, that should. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Alright, Hattie Pillar is Welcome Home's friendliest and happiest shopkeeper. This colorful caterpillar knows his store like the back of his hands, which is impressive considering how many hands he has. Charismatic and quick-witted, charismatic, quick-witted, and remarkably jolly, Howdy always seems to have whatever his neighbors need with a price that just can't be beat. Hattie was a small-time caterpillar who wanted to start his own business, of which he accomplished in home as a much larger caterpillar. His bodega was named, I don't know what the fuck that means, <laughs> was named Howdy's Place and alternatively known as Bugdega by Barnaby, of which he is their most loyal customer. Howdy was said to have originated from an apple core in a tree alongside his plentiful brothers and sisters, many of whom Howdy would, have, would offhandedly mention in a, uh, a plethora of by name throughout the show's run. I'm sorry if my reading is bad, it's hard to read <laughs> sometimes, especially with this. Illustrated material typically depicted Howdy standing behind the counter of his bodega and at the, o uh, at the open window along the side, especially when he is part of skits with other residents. Howdy is rarely seen in the neighborhood sets beyond special occasions, with one of the only other instances being to visit or deliver goods to Poppy himself. Poppy. Who the fuck is Poppy? Who's Poppy? Did I miss something? Poppy. Who the fuck is... Wait, what? What is Poppy? Who is Poppy? What the fuck? I'm stupid, dude. How do you often exchange goods for funny jokes, silly observations, one dollar ideas, and unique gadgets? Noted formally uh, as being his favorite customer, Barnaby would often uh, appear regularly at Howdy's place. He would simply supply Howdy with a daily laugh in exchange for a hot dog. Aww, cute. As such, old hey, Holy fucking shit! <laughs> Hi. Fuck! What ARG are you trying to explore? Uh, the Welcome Home ARG. I don't know that. It's a banger. Uh, Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. I don't get, like, Discord join notifications, so that just scared me so bad, dude. Oh, uh, I am sick, and I have a performance to go to, and I can't afford to be sick, so I'm staying home from school today. Yeah, hell yeah. Just... Wait, you have school today? Yeah. Damn, that sucks. I'm on spring break right now, dude. We don't have spring break. Oh. That fucking sucks. <laughs> we have summer holiday, though. Yeah. Okay, um, anyway. Uh, how do you often exchange goods for funny jokes, silly observations, with other ideas, do you need gadgets? Uh, he would supply Howdy with a daily laugh in exchange for a hot dog. As such, old scripts would provide strange lingo to describe the various ways Hattie would prepare this hot dog, such as paint a bow, <laughs> a bow wow red and yellow in the winter and make sure it's got legs, or a full house with a couple of bloodhounds. Uh, Howdy's puppet was rotated between a live hand puppet and a walk around puppet in order to keep him in frame with his fellow residents. Alright, so we are headed to Barnaby next, I believe. A goofy layabout with a love for jokes, Barnaby B. Beagle is Welcome Home's funniest neighbor. Always ready with a joke on hand or even a silly observation, this big blue uh, beagle always knows how to have fun, much to the dismay of some of the grumpier residents. Barnaby B. Beagle was the resident jokester who left his life on the farm to move to home, of which he joked as being the big city. Illustrated books noted he was an orphaned puppy that was adopted by the chicken that crossed the road, uh, comedically named Miss Beagle, 
uh, which proved as motivation to be an entertainer. Similar sources noted Barnaby as being able to perform a gaggle of tricks, such as juggling, balancing on a ball, and steadying large objects on the tip of his nose. Aww! Wally was often depicted alongside him, and illustrated pages noted that they were the best of friends multiple times. Examples included skits in which Wally would typically paint Barnaby in silly poses, or when Wally needed to learn something new! Oh. Oh. I don't know who the road. They also shared characteristics with one another, such as color palettes, hearts on the soles of their feet, and similarly uh, designed outfits. He has hearts on the soles of his- Oh! That's so cute. <gasps> Baby boy. Many of Barnaby's segments were akin to stand-up, often being met with booing, clapping, or having things being thrown at him by his fellow neighbors. <laughs> Barnaby's middle initial was often rotated in terms of what it stood for. Old Scripps cited that he had claimed it stood for Blue, Bark, Bite, and Buddy. It is assumed that all that these are all incorrect. Within some illustrated materials, Barnaby is depicted with a tobacco pipe. Barnaby puppet was rotated between a live hand puppet and a walk around. Whoa. Oh, Barnaby's puppet was rotated between a live hand puppet and a walk around. Sorry, I got a text message and it scared the fuck out of me. Okay, um, okay, um, uh, uh, sorry, handling something. Um, Hold on, I'll be right back. I need to get some, uh, nose spray. Oh, okay. Arguably the smartest neighbor in Welcome Home, Frank Frankly, <laughs> my fucking god, of course that's his fucking name, <laughs> uh, is the resident bookworm with an expertise on butterflies. I thought there was a comma, so I started to list with an expertise on butterflies. Despite the, being the grumpiest and grayest of this colorful, uh, caval what the fuck does that mean, of neighbors, it's good to have someone so organized and matter of fact amidst the bunch. After all, he enjoys being Frank, even if it means being Frank. Whatever that means, he is Julie's best friend. Aww! Frank does not have any known information regarding his origins prior to moving into home when compared to the others. However, there are still notable attributes uh, that have been uncovered. Frank was often depicted with a book or a butterfly net, since butterflies were seemingly his focus. He was also a source of information for the other neighbors when an answer to a question was needed, as noted in old, in old scripts. This would often be discredited for a comedic effect. Uh, Frank would be partnered with Julie as the straight man in various skits, merchandise, and advertising in the song The Fun In Your Frown, no track found. Uh, in the show itself, the puppet appeared with a mixed frown on its fi with a fixed frown on its face face. Fuck, sorry. Um, but in illustrated material, Frank had often had more complex expressions. Any concept works surrounding Frank's puppet could not be uncovered, but there is evidence that has been revealed that his head could be fully rotated. Wow. And finally, we end off with the boy himself. Wally! Wally Darling is the friendliest neighbor in Welcome Home, perhaps even the best painter, too. With a, uh, with a smile like it's his, like his, it's hard to disagree. Always eager to make new friends and show them around the neighborhood, Wally is happy to lend a helping hand. But you knew that already, didn't you? That's intimidating. Ooh. Hi. We're on to Hi. we're on to the last neighbor and also the technically like the main guy. Oh, all right. Wally, darling, I'm gonna reread this for for Noah. Uh, Wally, darling, is the friendliest neighbor in Welcome Home. Perhaps even the best painter too. With a smile like his, it's hard to disagree. Always eager to make new friends and show them around the neighborhood, Wally's happy to lend a helping hand. But you already knew that, didn't you? I don't like that you're talking directly to me. Wally is the most prominent character in Welcome Home, as he is often the focus of merchandise, advertising, and is present in every episode and book. 
His segments were focused on drawing and painting with the viewers. Barnaby was often depicted alongside him and illustrated pages. Note that they were the best of friends multiple times, most notably scenarios where the Wally and the viewer are learning something new. They also share similar... <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> uh, they also share similar characteristics, like hearts on the soles of their shoes slash paws, of which only Barnaby has the latter. Uh, a notable characteristic of Wally is that his house is named Home. Home is regarded as the ninth neighbor, but seemingly cannot speak as illustrations show Home speaking in only onomatopoeias. Creak, squeak, and bang. Other sound effects like that. Sources say... Are the movies and books real or just fiction? This is all fiction, but they oh, okay. they paint it to be. I'll show you more uh, in just a moment. Um, okay. Sources say, however, that this puppet's eyes could move through a hand crank on the other side of the prop facing away from the camera. Additionally, its doors, chimney, and windows were supposedly very animated during the episodes. It is implied that home is the most lively house within the neighborhood, as none of the other houses seem to have eyes. Goodbye. So, what I want to note for you, Noah, is that when you go through and read all of these, it says go back in colorful lettering for every single one except for Wally's. This is in all black text and it says goodbye. Another thing I would like to draw your attention to, something I've already opened but I'm going to close it so that you can get the full effect. One of the best ways with ARGs like this is to click through with tab so that you can go through all of the highlighted sections that you're able to click on. And when it gets to Wally's house, this little square underneath here, underneath the house, is highlighted, right? Mm -hmm. So you click on that, and you get a different page. Ooh. So, oh, that's done. So this page in particular is called So Below. It's directly below the house. Um, or below home, I suppose I should say. It's literally just this the entire time. So it's a loop. It's just a consistent loop of what looks like Wally almost worshipping home. Which is strange. I thought that was a dead person. No, that's Wally. All that's right. Wally, and this is the eye from home here. Yeah, that's what I was focusing on when you were reading the description of Wally. Yeah. Um, but also, when you tab again, you realize that there's a square behind the house that you're able to tab on. Oh, what? Nope, that's so below again. That's not what I want. Oh, and also you can click on the U right here in the your. Oh. You can you can press enter to go to the web page, you know that, right? Yeah, and I, I tried that, but it took me right back to so below, which is strange. Even though this is the so below one. Huh. Weird. So behind. <laughs> no, but uh, I'll show you what it actually looks like, though. Uh, open image in new tab. Look. Oh, what the... Ugh. Wally's house is overlaid. It is a completely different image. It looks like some Amori type shit. It kind of does. It's really funny because I'm playing Amori music for the stream right now. Um, oh, you are? Yeah. Um, huh. Anyway. Uh, let's go here. All right. Crit critically praised and financially successful, Welcome Home dominated its Saturday morning time slot with its colorful cast of puppets, entertaining and addictive stories, and lively sets unlike anything seen before. Surely a spectacle of audiences for all ages. Look at them! Oh wait, he put on fake ears to match Barnaby! That's so cute! They don't look very colorful. Yeah, these are just- because these are concept sketches. Oh, okay. Yeah, or at least they're they're meant to be- Welcome Home was an American children's television program created, created and produced by the Playfellow Workshop, which serves as the studio's only production. Supposedly, its first episode aired on October 11th, 1969, and was broadcast onto an unknown channel until its last uh, estimated air date sometime in 1974. Oh, they ran pretty long. It was about four years. Welcome Home primarily focused on the neighbors 
uh, the show's inhabitants, who were accompanied by a mixture of animated breaks and illustrated storybook segments. The setting itself was colorful and exaggeratedly designed. Uh, was oh, itself was a colorful and exaggeratedly designed little town named home, with unique elements like a post office and a bodega, as well as a brightly colored, uh, as brightly colored creatures that lived within it. Episodes usually began with Wally introducing the focus or theme for the day before coming across the other characters who would join him in his escapades until the end of the day, which would signify the end of the show. So, nighttime, based on what I've read through this and also a different character's writing, is never shown on screen. Oh. All the characters had notable recurring segments uh, that were sprinkled throughout the entirety of the show's run, such as Eddie Deer creating arts and crafts, uh, Sally Starlet performing plays, or Wally Darling painting a picture with the help of other members of the cast. The viewer was often regarded as an additional neighbor, with Wally speaking to them on a regular basis. Notice how the W here is down. Yep. When you highlight it, there's another W underneath it. Oh, what? Yeah. So, there is, you know, one underneath. And then we go through probably one of my favorite parts of this whole thing. That shows how much effort was put into this. Just a bunch of pieces of art. Puppet hand, like this was an actual book made. Wow. Look at him, isn't he so cute? I love him. Oh, yeah, Valentine's Day cards. <coughs> Oop, and a, don't worry about it. And a Halloween special. There he is! Oh. Not fucking creepy at all, man. Oh, God. Uh. Aw. Oh. Wait, he's, he's smiling. Oh. Yeah. A little gift. <laughs> oh. Wally sleeping in fucking cake. Did you know that Wally canonically eats with his eyes? What? Yeah. He what blinks and the food disappears. And it's. What the hell of that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's Wally painting Barnaby's hands. That's so cute. How oh, Barnaby holds a cup. Wally! Determination? <laughs> Little concept art with Julie. And the bigger piece of Frank. They're gay! They're gay! They're gay! They're gay! They're so gay. Look at these effects! Little gay boy. Rounding is easy, see? Maybe for you, but not for me. I love this piece so much. I love it so much. They're so fucking cute. They're so... G give me this image. I want this fucking image. It's so difficult to express emotions without coughing. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you're driving and hanging out. You reading books now, kid? No, just one. <laughs> Ain't it just like a smart guy to have a smart answer? They're so cute! <laughs> and turn around... And a little Frank expression sheet. Throwing a tantrum. <laughs> Frank and Julie. She's stimming! She's stimming! She's stimming! Wally's house home. So this is concept art for home, and I would like to point out something that another YouTuber has pointed out. These marks here look like home is crying. Or make it look like home is crying. And these look like eyebrows to make it look sad. Which is notable. Home yes, home is sentient. Because they respond to Wally and other residents by making sounds. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot that he's a klutz. I love her. I love her so much. Yeah, that's why I love her. Because you. Hello, sir! Oh. Look at him. Uh, okay. He's so baby girl. Anyway. 
Hi, Frank. Oh, look at this boy. Look at him stimming. Oh, my God. He's stimming. Oh, my God. He's autistic. Look at him. Autism. He's so autism. <laughs> so cute. Oh. That's a bit, that's a bit terrifying. Oh. <laughs> I love this piece. I love this piece so much. He looks so cute. Rain. Rain. <laughs> Aww. Opposites. Love it. Hi, sweetheart. I love Julie. And then Eddie doing some arts and crafts because it's one of his favorite things to do. Them being gay. Gay. Gay boy. Yep. Oh, I'm, su I'm assuming this is her family. I didn't know who this was before, but I think it's her family. Because they mentioned her the family were similar to her. The puppets, like, the puppets that are covered in, kind of, I guess, hair, remind yeah. me of something. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I can't point out what it is, though. Uh, restored remnants and reproduced pieces. Welcome Home is believed to have had a four-year run upon further research before both its abrupt pull from television in 1974 and complete silence from its entertainment company. The television programs uh, for its visual artistry, captivating stories, remarkable puppetry, and lively characters. However, all footage is presumably lost, including supposed merchandise, advertisements, vinyl records, and illustrated books depicted in episodes. What has been revealed has driven us to uncover its whereabouts. Read more about our journey and how we're discovering this long forgotten puppet show and our mission at the Welcome Home Restoration Project about us page. Oh god. Okay. Where are you? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Team of anomin- an an Wait. This O is up. I just noticed that. O is up. Hey. Uh, de dedicated to compiling, restoring, and archiving what few remnants of Welcome Home have been uncovered. Uh, through these collective efforts, awaken the memory of the lost piece of media, strive to establish friendly, open community of friends, family, and fans, just like the colorful, quaint neighbors and in our beloved home. Love is clear in the messages of Wally Darling, as much as a hallmark to him, his charismatic smile, his cheery disposition, eagerness to understand the world around him, we too hope to spread this everlasting feeling of joy, caring, understanding, and acceptance. I have just now realized that I didn't click on the U and show you what happens when you click on U. Oh. Are you ready? Yep. <sighs> boop, 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 boop. You. Wait, you can type? No, I'm not typing. It's the website. Oh. Wally... Oh no, I know what this is. <laughs> Every time I see best friend, I know there's gonna be horror. <laughs> Wally, <laughs> Wally is your best friend. And that's it. That's the only thing you can do on this website. There is literally nothing else here. Yeah. And They disappeared. SMH. Anyway, this specific one is titled "You" with a period at the end, which makes it even more intimidating. <laughs> anyway, back to the about us. Uh, I have something about that. My father was just asking how he replies leave from it from my school. Ah, all right. Don't worry about it. Um, I hope to spread this feeling of everlasting joy. Carrying together, we will make this house a home. This is me wonder how we come to uncover such a show or retain this work as the efforts to take and restore the best of our abilities and we are happy to open our front door to you, neighbor. Highlighted. What? Why is the O always highlighted? I don't know. It's weird. I think it's because of things standing out. Maybe. So strange. Anyway, general questions. Who are you? For personal reasons, our small collective at the WHRP uh, team have agreed upon staying anonymous for our own security and safety. More than that, however, we wanted to make recovery of Welcome Home our number one priority and wanted it to be the full focus of the website. Smart. How did you begin your research into Welcome Home? To be honest, we were drawn in unexpectedly. All the information found on this website was extracted from documents that had been uncovered in brightly cover colored envelopes. Eddie's envelopes are brightly colored. That's strange. We are thankful to be the first jumpstart in this journey. But it hurts. I 
forgot about that. There's hidden text. I completely forgot about that. What do the illustrations, writings, and advertisements look like when you receive them? All the paper materials tucked away. So this is what uh, original piece in its restored state as we have received it. Fully restored by our team with slight alterations to the original. Oh god. Uh, all the paper... Yeah, all the paper... No, it's, it's, it's paint. Uh, tucked away inside the envelopes we have received are usually crammed together and covered in paint and ink. Uh, volunteers have both restored and recreated most of what was found on the documents. An example of the work. Uh, our volunteers have also produced speculative pieces from the information gathered, uh, like the spinning head, uh, removable hat, and the heart marks on the bottom of Wally's shoes. We hope more of our fan interpretation interpretations fuck, will um, arise just like this. Explorations of the spinning head thing. Alright. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait. Hold on. I, I don't want to... I don't... No, I need to read the, the other one first. Fuck. Piss off. What? Question mark? Okay. Why did you make this website? Uh, I hoped that this website would grab the attention of someone who has seen this show before and could tell us more about it. If this wasn't possible, then we wanted to create... Uh, be the first showcase, uh, uh, be the first showcase, be the first showcase of Lost Media to help spur the search for its existence. Many of our guestbook signatures have talked about seeing this show before, so this is a good sign. Is it, it means it is inside of you too, then. Does it hurt? I like how this question is double layered as well. Mm -hmm. When I unwrapped the first letter, I felt it. I heard it. Open, open, open. I want out. I'm going to get it out. What kind of merchandise did Welcome all have? It is only speculation, but from what we have gathered, there is a possibility that there are vinyl records, children's toys, and a plethora of other merchandise that can be ordered through various magazines. Uh, someone thinks there are patterns uh, to make your own Barnaby. Could you imagine? You know how many episodes there are? Unfortunately, no. Yet to receive footage, nor the full catalog of the episodes we have estimated. Oh, the last air date for the show was in 17, 1974, only because it was the most recent date unless I'm on a script. And then there's more. The numbers are so hard to read, sometimes I can't see them. Uh, do you know anyone who worked at the web sh what, workshop or you former? No, and I'm not affiliated with the company, but we do know of Ronald Dorlane. He must be the creator. We will find the other names, too. Are we able to join your team? At the moment, we aren't accepting new members. Who is your favorite resident? Everyone on our team has their favorite, but you ask me, mine is Wally Darling. He's the most, as he would say. That's his phrase. He says uh, something about being the most. I don't know. Anyway, go back. T.Y. Simmer. Um, let's go to the guest book, because the guest book is super fun. And the guest book has arguably some of the most stuff. You! You're coming! Let's visit the guest book! Welcome! Okay. Thank you for taking my coat and let me into your humble abode. Blah, 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 blah. So it's a bunch of messages. Some I think that are written by actual people, others that are written by like the creators and paste it on here to fill up the the, the area you know all right but there are notably a bunch of doodles all over the pages right where am i yeah so we'll get we'll get to that one in a second um but fuck, stop when you open the images they're named and have responses oh so Wally, you are very handsome, this one says, and he responds with, thank you. Uh, a shout out to other to all other Poppy enjoyers in the world. I like Poppy too, neighbor. And this one is Honk, and he responds with Honk Honk. <laughs> and a little laugh. He draws Barnaby. I think that's Barnaby anyway. Uh, and then Scott says, where am I? And with a smiley face, Wally responds, with me, neighbor. Uh, Cal says, it's so nice to visit home. It's so lovely here and everyone is so friendly. Have a smiley day. Uh, thank you. I hope you think this, uh, I hope you think it is beautiful. Oh, oh, I think it's like a mix of these three. 
gear. Oh, okay. Hi, and then a little smiley face, and then he responds with, Hello, why are you smiling this way? I'll keep you company, neighbor. <laughs> Let's see. Sally said, Well, I thought I'd completely forgotten about the show, but this website is reconnecting with so many childhood memories I thought I had lost. Thank you for making this lovely site. And with the name Sally, Wally proceeds to respond and say, Sally, is that you? Because Sally is one of the neighbors. So glad to see this up. This is gorgeous. I love bugs. <laughs> oh, because their name is Face Full of Bugs. It's really cute. He responds to the names and everything. Let's see. I'm going to stay at home. Wonderful little place. Our neighbors are here. Thank you, too, neighbor. Aww. Uh, hey Wally, I hope you're cool and not super evil. That'd be a real bummer. You don't like me, neighbor. Oh! <laughs> How's it going? It's an apple! Wally is so fucking cute. And then Equation here says, I love the colors! There's so many here! And then Wally draws them a rainbow and says, Here you go! Spiral. The response, Hello, neighbor! How lovely! Puppy is so darling! Puppy is big. I love her, too. <laughs> so this one is a little smiley face where the zero, like, plays in as, like, a nose. And yeah. Wally responds saying, I like your nose. <laughs> He's so cute. I love Frank. I love Frank, too. He frowns. I think he is funny. What a darling place. I feel so lucky to have found it. Everyone seems so friendly and bright. I'll be sure to come by often. You're lucky. Come by often, neighbor. And then there's like really big ones over here. Uh, I feel welcome and homed. Homed! With a little exclamation point. What's the name? Oh, I forgot that you guys can't really see. It's like homed. With a little exclamation point. It's so cute. Uh, this has brought a smile to my grumpy clown, clown face. It's okay to frown. You are still my friend. He's so cute! Howdy ho, neighbor! Didn't see you there. <laughs> Do you s Oh! That's right. Do you see Howdy now? Because Howdy is one of the neighbors. Hello! 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 <laughs> I can hear you, neighbor. <laughs> it's like, yes, hello, I hear you. Julie is my friend now. Julie is my friend, too. I like bugs. Here's a bug for you, neighbor. He's so fucking cute. How many people like bugs? I love it here. I would like to hold Eddie's hand and give him a kiss. I will mail him a letter for you. Aww. Uh, I want Julie to know I love her very much. Thank you. I promise I will tell her. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I do not know what wiggle is. Barnaby said it was this. <laughs> He's so fucking cute! Sally, my beloved, and a giant doodle of Sally. I know, Sally. Why do you like eye contact? Emily asks. So you will know I am looking at you, neighbor. I am talking to you. Not creepy at all. No fear. And then he responds with, I love you, I love you, I love you. So this is getting scary. A little bit. It gets worse. And then little capital E colon. We are happy. Do you look like this? Cyborg microwave. says, look, Ma, I'm on TV. You are on TV. So I thought that was a microwave. <laughs> Bruh. No, it's an old TV. Hello, I love clowns. Show me one. I do not know what clown is. He said, uh, I asked Frank. He said Barnaby. Here is Barnaby. I like Barnaby because he is a dog. I also like what Barnaby. What is a clown, Barnaby? <laughs> Barnaby. I mean, to be fair, kind of. Yeah, but I, I think that's a bit rude. No, but he's like of the performer of well, other than uh Sally. What lovely houses, yeah. says Millie. And then I love home. Home is my friend. <laughs> he's so fucking cute. Eddie is a friend. I like him. Eddie is a friend too. Uh, Eddie is a friend. I like him too. He runs too much. I don't remember most of the characters' works. Yeah. I, uh, Piggy Pie says, I absolutely love it here. Puppets are one of my favorites. The character design makes me feel so happy. 
And he responds with a pig and says, I am a puppet. I am your favorite. <laughs> Boink. And the star says, this is a lovely vibe and a colorful dream. And Wally oh, responds yeah. with, good night, neighbor. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Hello, says Corbin. And he says, hello, you see this? Winky splinky. Peony sends a heart, and he responds with, this is a heart. Sweet boy. TV. TV, TV, TV. <laughs> that's literally the fucking name of it. Just TV three times. Alright, there we go. Now I get that it's a TV. <laughs> that is a spiky ball. Frank, you are very handsome, and I would love to catch bugs with you. Oh, I will tell... I will tell Frank with you. I will... T fuck. I will tell Frank for you. The bug will look like this. That's our ladybug. <laughs> Ooh, such a nice place to visit. Warms my heart. I feel blessed. A colorful crowd and somewhere uh, I would actually like to visit. You will come with me. Oh. Okay, then. You will come with me. Frank is my favorite. Frank. I will tell... Whoa. There's a lot Hot. between the text for this one. Hot whoa. Look. Oh. That's funky. Frank. I will tell Frank. Hmm. I think the uh, percentage 20 means like a uh, new paragraph for files. Maybe, but it hasn't happened in a lot of other ones. Uh, Katie with a little pufferfish emoji and says, Hello, this place makes you feel very comfy. Your house is very cute, Wally. Thank you, Katie. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like Skittles. Mm, yummy. Wally, we are we housey. House. And then he responds with, house, house. <laughs> Why does that look like something you'd say? It absolutely would be something I would say. A friend led me here and said explore. I'm pretty sure I'm lost, but I'm also okay with it. I will help you, neighbor. Uh, so then sends a little face, and he redraws the face, and says, who is this? <laughs> on my way to, <laughs> on my way to tell Howdy a joke, and then ask for his heart in return. Don't, uh, <laughs> do he sell his heart? <laughs> do he sell his heart? Do he sell his heart? What a question, Wally. Oh my god. Any other ones? There we go. Wally, if you see this, you are gorgeous. I can't wait to see how this progresses. Thank you, Cherry. That's I think I am pretty, too. Oh, I'm glad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wally is the only character the face I remember. Yeah. What a lovely little place. I truly feel welcomed and at home. Uh, you wipe your shoes here. Do a little welcome mat for him. Alright, page four. Uh, Julie threw the horns up there. Uh... So I'm really excited about this project. Always love things like Sesame Street and the Muppets, and having a game based on that aesthetic is super interesting. Um, they brought Sesame Street into this. Oh my god. I also find it neat that I share names with one of the characters. And then uh, Wally drew the little horns that Julie has and says, uh, Oh, you are not Julie. I will tell Julie. So much family. Oops. Shit. Uh, the infamous kitty cat. And he responds with kitty cat, famous, TV. <laughs> <coughs> and then Nick says, I'm in pain, but this is cool to see. That is not what I meant to do. Hold on, I'm gonna get some panadol. <sighs> Alright. And then he responds with, you'll be okay, with a little band-aid. With a little heart on it, too. And it's just like, ugh, it's a baby boy. I love, I love. The funny toothpaste tube thing, <laughs> Baba boy. <laughs> Bunch of scrunklies. Frank, Wally, and Barnaby, my beloved. So real. We went through this neighborhood together. Uh, Milk and Zeke. Well, it was their first time here. I've visited home before. This place is so cute, and we're glad to be Wally's friend. We are friends. Wally is a little jokester, a lollygagger, so to speak, a tomfooler, and maybe even a hoaxer, a jokesmith, or even a humorist. Oh, I did it again. No, I am Wally. I am your friend. <laughs> uh, morning sent to bugs, 
and he responded with, I have seen them before. Do they like each other? Oh! <laughs> Lovely to be here. I know what you are. <laughs> you do. I am so happy. I wonder why he said well, that's, that's, a, that's a view to come back to. I know what you are. And then he responded with, You do. I am so happy. But it's really cute. This one is really cute because Morning here sent uh, two emojis of a ladybug and a butterfly. And he responded by putting them in a house and saying, I have seen oh. them before. Do they like each oh, other? Where's, where's, uh, where's the ladybug? Look. Oh, oh, there are emojis. Okay. And he said, I have seen them before. Do they like each other? And this is so fucking cute. <laughs> MK? Like the one from Lego Monkey Kid? Holy shit! Monkey. I've only watched Journey to the West. Ah. Oh. B here says, bzz, 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 and then they respond with, Oh, I understand. We are playing. I have you. <laughs> We're playing catch. <laughs> Hello, Wally. I'd like to clarify that I actually like you very much. You're the most. And he responds with, I am the most. I'm the most most, actually, he says. Very specific there, Wally. I'm the most most. I've seen your art around Tumblr, and I love this world you're creating. Hm. Wait, they brought Tumblr into this? It's, it's, they're, the, the account is on Tumblr. Or one of the accounts oh, is. Okay. Uh, Yahoo, yippee! I'm a wonderful little neighbor, a wonderful little neighborhood with great neighbors to, <laughs> to boot. I bap Wally's hair floof so sweetly. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> okay, the rest of these I have not seen, so this is all gonna be new for me. He's such an autism creature, dude. I love him. Snail. <laughs> a snail, and he drew a snail and said, Do you like Frank? <laughs> Alright. Nostalgia. Alright, I simp for Wally. You and me both. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. All right, but I sent for Wally. It says that we're best friends. He says that he knows me, and boy, do I want to know more. Know him. I want to be more than best friends. I want to smile. And Wally drew a phone and said, "Then answer me." Oh God. Mmm. Fun. Uh, this one been to plenty of places, seen a lot of faces, but the next. Cake is the friendliest. Felt uh, right at home, but now it's time to roam. It'll be back if we met on that. Are you singing? Oh. Uh, what a nice little community. I hope I get to move in one day. Take care, everyone, and have a lovely day. And he says you will. Aw. Wally is such a. Oh. Huh? That's an eye. Wally is such a doll, and he responds with an eye and saying, "No, a puppet." <laughs> Cutie. Oh, this website secret. Wait, this website has secrets. I just know it. And he scribbled over it, and it's oh. oh. No, it doesn't. Hello. Oh, it's just a normal text file. This site. What does that say? If this says "fuck so hard," I swear to God. Sucks, probably. Yep. It fucks. says fucks. It says fucks. <clears throat> Fuck, I'm stuck. I can't unhighlight. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean for it to be like. Oh, okay. Alright, so then. Hey. hey! Hey! Loving the art! Hi! Hello! And then he says. Hi, hi! And this is named the exact same way as this previous one. Almost the exact. It's probably just a normal image file name that you. Uh, forget it's a beautiful day in this name. neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. That aside, Frank and Julie interactions are always fun to watch. No. Uh. Ooh, this is getting suspicious. Neighborhood truly looks almost perfect. What the fuck? Reawaken many Maybe childhood memories. Oh. Yeah, I, I plan on it. Open new image. More of... Hmm. I love you. And then he says, I love you. Back to them. Howdy, 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 howdy. 
and the little doodly and pouty. Uh, Eddie, it's nice to see another Eddie here. I hope he's doing okay. Not now. There's so fucking many things here, and I don't know what to do about it. This one in particular is just like the main concerning one to me. All right, page six is where I know things. You could read the scribbled over text by uh, Inspect Element and delete. Wait, let me check. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about on the website. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Anyway, um, I'll come back to that. <laughs> this is genuinely so cool. I'm eating this entire website. I'm eating Wally slash paws, and he just says, "No, don't eat." <laughs> All right. Forgot the show existed. Used to love watching it as a kid. Uh, surprised other people remember it. I really don't like that I'm not getting messages anymore. Wonderful neighborhood. Uh, Bazingo, bongo, yippee. Bazinga. Uh, Wally. This is incredibly awesome. What a wonderful Just little made. neighborhood. Barnaby. Oh, I just loved him when I was a little kid. Uh, excited to see what happens. Not your pretty website. <laughs> and then, where am I? What is this place? If someone is reading this, please help me. I have no clue what is happening here. There are all these people. I think that's what they are. They almost look like strange puppets from a child's book. If there's anyone out there reading this, help me, please. Why are you fibbing? You are not here. I don't see you. Please do not lie to me. I love the yellow here. I like yellow, too. I'm yellow. Sally is yellow. Frank's nose is yellow. Okay, wait, am I able to see? Wait, what does this say? Uh, I look forward to anything about it. Uh, excited to see what happens. It is not time yet, I'm looking. Barnaby, I just loved him as a kid. Love him, you remember. Okay, no, that's just numbers still. Weird. What a strange sudden switch up. I wonder what, uh, just what happens in the neighborhood. I don't know either. Oh. Alright, man, it's been years since I thought about the show. I genuinely thought, uh, blah, blah, blah. Scratch harder. Huh. Julie, please be my Valentine. Valentine, I will tell her. I like rats. That's not a rat. Rat! <laughs> that's not a rat, buddy. Oh, another Wally! Wally, we have the same name! I think that's pretty cool! Our name. Aww. Where's Wally? Uh-oh. Hmm. Alright, what have we got over here? Uh, hi Wally, you and your friends sure seem like a bunch of wonderful folks. What's your favorite memory with each of your friends? Why do you scribble hi Wally? <laughs> no memory. Oh. Oh. That's, what, that's what, right. What, 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 what? That's right. His, his memory is, is iffy. Well, howdy there, neighbor. How is the gang doing today? Everyone is happy. Thanks for sharing your work. It's a whimsical little website. Plan to visit home again. I can't reach them. I'm sorry. Oh! Before I go, I'm going to leave some treats for the neighbors. I hope they like them. And he responds by saying, I can't reach them. I'm sorry. It's a bit terrifying. Alright. Page 7. What a lovely place you have here. I'm very excited to see what you have in store. I hope you know Wally is my favorite. I'm your favorite. That makes me happy. Thank you. Oh, baby. I love you. And he responds with, I love you too. Oh, baby. I also. My theory senses are tingling. You and me both, dude. Welcome back to game theory. <laughs> <laughs> Everything seems very cute. Uh, Wally seems fun but serious. I wonder what sort of stuff he'd get into in the show. Paint. So if I just hover over these, I can see the name of the images, I realize. Or at least I could for that one. Which is weird. Gotta say, I don't know much about the show. My father said he's siblings. He watched it when they were little. I can see why they enjoyed it. Uh, Barnaby probably would have been my favorite. I always love dogs. What is your father? Oh, he doesn't know what a dad is. <laughs> he's fatherless. Sorry. Fatherless. L. 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 Okay. I saw a earlier. So excited about this. This shit is so scary. Don't be afraid. Put a little flower. There's so much to see here. Two eyes. Hi, Wally. I am mailing you a cookie and a kiss. Let me know if you get it. I could not find them. I will look harder. Aww. I see you. And he sends eyes and says, ha 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 ha. 
Yeah, not creepy at all, man. Oh. All right. Little guys on my screen. Is it me? Creepy. Oh, <laughs> is it me? And page eight. Is it me? Uh, lost red shoe. I really hope Welcome Home crew knows how to tie their shoes. It's very hard. <laughs> Hi, I love it so much here. It's uh, if Eddie is reading this, me, my brother, and my friend will have a huge crush on you. <laughs> I told him. He said he's flattered. I don't know what anyone is talking about. Oh, I love the art so much. Wally's already my favorite. I am your favorite. I am your favorite too. I'm very happy. And then we got a bunch of blank ones. And then we get into... Where is it? I'm waiting. I know there's more down here. Scary. Oh, that's right. I have to... Forgot. Oh, you have to have my light? Control A. And I should find... Oh, there it is. That's, <coughs> that's what I'm looking for. Uh. You won't write back. You're looking for me. Silly, silly. Look at all the slimes at the- oh, Look at Wooly's handwriting! Oh. Why does home have their own signature? No, Wally did it. It's his handwriting. Oh, okay. They're all welcome home. Obviously. Notably, though, in here, the only one you can click is Barnaby's. Oh. That's it. You cannot click on any other ones. Google web page. What do you mean? It seems like a Google web page. What do you mean? When you, when you click on something, everything goes dark and it only shows the... Well, I mean, yeah, that's kind of how it's supposed to work, possibly. Okay. So... I know that there are codes. Okay. What? The numbers pop up. Hold on. I actually want to try something. Welcome home, you. Hmm. Not intimidating at all. Zero, five. Uh oh. Looks like you wandered too far from home. You should head back. Fuck. Oh, hey, it takes you directly back. Yeah. Mmm. Just notice the eye right there. It's not creepy at all. There's also multiple eyes blended into the, uh, the, the side bits here. Why is Wally red? I mean, his... Hold on. Fashionable little lad. Mm. Oh, it's different now. Weird. <laughs> Large border. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through every image and see if there's any naming to it. So that might be important. Hey, Wally, I love you. Oh, hello, edited. <laughs> Fuck. That's not creepy at all. Welcome home title. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so the person that I watched go through this was this person. Hey, everybody, quick. Nightmind. Very nice voice. Hey, everybody, quick. <laughs> yeah, let me turn off the music, actually. Just for the sake of this. Okay. Intro just for context. For hours after releasing the Welcome Home video, a lot of you ended up sending me Twitter notifications of secrets you discovered on the site. And it was all so excellent and exciting that I felt compelled to open a stream. By the time that happened, the creative team behind Welcome Home were aware and watching. So it was equal parts exploration of hidden details with the community and acknowledging the work done. 
And apparently, all of this is only the prologue, which is fantastic. Right. Forgot to mention that. Um, everything shown on the website is only the prologue to this ARG. A what? Yep. A long prologue. Yep. We're not even into chapter one yet, technically. Chapter zero. I better do this one down to the yeah. portion for you. Have fun. Be on the lookout for updates on Welcome Home. And do give love to Cloud and anybody he points out as a collaborator. I'll see you all again real soon. Yeah. <sighs> the whole staff is watching and grinning ear to ear. <laughs> I want you to know how happy we all are. We're all happy. We, my crowd, our crowd, all of us are happiest when there is beautiful art out in the world. Except the love and the skills that they had and what little money they could afford to put towards something. That's what we celebrate here. So we are through. Yeah, so I want to find the specific code. Advanticus, Dr. Darksby, thank you for subbing. Right. So, the hitbox. Yeah. There was a hitbox underneath. So. Wait, that's a camera. This is what it was trying to show us. So House was on top of this to let a little bit out, but this was the rest of what was underneath. Now, as for some of the other things that have been sent to me. Let's go ahead and see one of the pages for URL. This one is titled Answer. Okay, alright, okay. Um, E-O-V-W-X-Y. E-O-V-W-X-Y. Clownillustration.com. E-O-V-W-X-Y. E-O-V-W-X-Y. Alright. This one is titled Answer. If this is the. Okay, thank God. I was about to fucking lose it if it was the. Okay. So there's not really a lot that you can get from this one. Other than that. Oh, there it was. Yeah. You'll see in a bit. You won't actually see, but you, you'll you'll see what I mean. Oh. There's like radio talking in it. That's weird. Okay. So that's one of them. I'm gonna to paste that here for the sake of having it open here. Um so let's try give me a second. Um so it's E O V W X Y is what I have. So uh, E O V W X Y E O V W X Y. Fuck. Okay. Nope. That was not gonna work. Uh, e E E W X Y. No. E O V W X Y. E O V W uh X E O V W X Y. No. I know there's Oh fuck, fuck. Oh. I got my bitch ass exposed. Fuck. Okay. Hold on. Voywex. Voywex. I was almost there. Voywex. Alright, here we go. Here's a fun one. Mm -hmm. Ah, you shithead. Hello. You. F Hello. 
Yo. Uh. You're there. Yes, yes, I am. I, I can't. Can see I can't see you. See you. Do you see me? S Shut up. <laughs> see me. Then stay quiet. The typing is getting faster. Yeah, it got faster there at the very end. There's the full image, by the way. Oh. I don't like the way you're smiling at me. Like, I love you, but if you could not, that would be real nice. Thanks, boss man. Look like a human being? Yeah, that's, uh, that's... That's fucking scary as shit, by the way, mind you. Like, him jumping up. Like, it's gonna fucking happen. I'm just waiting for it. Yep, there it is. So creepy for no- I love watching this dude's reaction to it, though. Wow, okay. Oh, on my head. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're there. Yep. Hello. Thanks for the help, bud. He's like, yeah, hi, hello. The only ARG, ARG I know is the cicada type of thing, or Wilbur That's fair. Oh, fuck. Wait, how the fuck did he get here? Oh, bag of, of wins. This is another try. Oh. Fuck. Loxive. Foxy Bay. Foxy Bay. There we go. Welcome home scene. Open. Opening this in a different tab. For the sake of being able to see what happens here. Are you sure something happens here? Just wait. Ooh. Why is Wally staying there for a long time? Oh, okay. And then it just goes red. And stays nice. yeah. <laughs> and stays like that. So you know. Fun. Fun anyway. That's not the that's not the oh, I'm zoomed in. Duh. So this is a script from one of the episodes. Uh, welcome home scene. Uh, that E is notably out. Um, butterfly flies, enters from the right side of the frame, moves across the screen, follows the butterfly, uh, easel with nothing in front of it, while he turns his head and looks at the camera. Hello neighbor, how are you today? He laughs and turns fully around. I hope you are happy. I feel happy too. When I feel happy, I like to paint. I like to paint to feel happy too. What do you do to feel happy? Pauses for the viewer and laughs. I think that would make me happy too. Even though I am happy neighbor, I have a problem. I don't know what to paint. Uh, focuses on the easel to emphasize this. Shut or up! <laughs> there are too many things to paint. I can't decide what I would like to do. I don't know how to solve this problem. Neighbor, when you have a problem, what do you do? Camera pans out to reveal Barnaby walking in from the uh, right side. Uh, Barnaby is holding a hot dog in his mouth. Yep. So then the rest of this is just different pieces of that, which is 15. Why was this one in particular called 15? Oh, no, it's this. Wait, no, it's not. Is it the background? Anyway. Try again, but look at this. There we go. Can't call this real quick. His voice is so nice, dude. Oh. <laughs> ha 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 ha. No free advertising.
there's something new. Okay. Y W X O E B. Y W X O E B. Y W Y W X O E B. Open. Hello, sir. Please do not look at me with them big ol' eyes. Home edited. The eyes flashing. And then. The oh! Cool! Uh oh. It just stops right there. One second, everyone.
I have returned. I had to handle something real quick with my little brother, but I am back. How long are you planning to stream to be? However long I can uh, drag it out to be, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I got an apple. I was hungry. Um. Okay, so open doesn't lead you anywhere. There's nothing to select on this page. Kind of sucks, but I dig. It's fucking creepy, dude. And then it just fucking stops. Ugh. Quit looking at me with them big ol' eyes, bro. That without an actual leg. So this is all right. Shit. Is it Y X W V O E? What X W E O V? Wait, Y X W V O E. Oh, I did E O V, not V O E. V O E. Different. Looks like you wandered. And then if you click on this, do that. This is an audio file of Wally singing. So basically, it was a little, um... Hello, I am back. Fuck! You scared the fuck out of me. Hi, welcome back. I had cough syrup and it tastes terrible. This is my first time having cough syrup. <laughs> oh. You're fine. I had cough syrup like five minutes ago. Why is the taste still there? Yeah, that's what it does. Ugh. Anyway, found a new one. I although I don't think found is the best word, but I digress. Yeah, so basically this one is Wally singing to home, his house, which is noted by him asking, did you like it? And home responding with, you know, how home responds on a monopia. That's good, I think. Yeah. Mm. 
Why did my water make that sound? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, looks like look, uh, looks like you wandered, wandered, wandered too far away from home. Head back. And then return home and stay, stay, stay. Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna get on my computer. I feel like I'm well enough to do that. <laughs> This is a different version for P M. No. So he, he what did the work with three B S. Uh shares the one of the V. Not me Wally. Which is uh oh. Yeah. Dylan. See look. The number is different for him there. Oh. Then when I go back, right? What the fuck? What does this mean? Testing my microphone. Does it work? Hello. Yes, it works. Higher, notably so. Huh. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, visitor number. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. I love the little. I don't like the way this is highlighted. Now what we could do is go to the creator's website because they have their own website and everything about Welcome Home. Here we go. Hello, my name is Clown. Let me tell you about my project, Welcome Home. Welcome Home is a horror project that focuses on unraveling the mystery surrounding a beloved 1970s children television show. You are to accompany a co colorful, I still don't know this fucking word, of puppets um, as their beloved neighborhood begins to skew and distort into a nightmarish memory that, can, that they can barely recall. Okay. Uh, through illustrated books, recordings, and an array of old merchandise, you will find what dwells within this colorful home. Beneath its beautiful carpets, behind its gorgeous wallpaper, and deep within its breathing crevices. Fortunately, you have someone to keep you company and hold your hand as you walk down a path now long forgotten. So now... We can see... Dog. Some lovely pieces. Ooh. A house is a place with four walls and a floor, with a ceiling above and a lovely front door. There's a bed to cradle you safely at night, and windows to bring in the morning sunlight. Your house is a mirror of just who you are, a reflection that tells you to never stray far. Welcome home is a story centered around a gang of friendly places of sunny days transformed into something unexplainable. With that said, it is important to state this is a psychological horror that touches upon a few topics that require a warning beforehand, especially during its development. Eyes, eye contact, or staring, we saw that. Unreality or derealization, gore. Puppets or mannequins. Exploration of heavy topics like deaths, isolation, and mental health. Uh, auditory unease, such as unpleasant sounds. And they've been 
I've started uh, making Welcome Home in 2018. Wow. Talk about. Yeah. All right. Mm hmm. So I want to see. Look, Wally exclaimed, I made a dog. That's Barnaby. There's a cross on his thing here. Which is strange. Notable. Um. Hello, Frank. What have we got around you here, bud? Your head. That's his head up there. And some of his hair. His arms. And more of his head and other limbs. And then just a red square. Strain. Probably an image that'll be able to be found on the website itself eventually. And dug into deeper. Julian something. It's for you from the Welcome Home uh, collection. Talkie telephone. Oh. Call your favorite neighbors anytime. A delightful message just for you. They can't hear you though. Speak up. Speak up. Speak up. I can't hear you. Speak up. Wonderful. Then we got Wally being the star of the show. That's the most. He seemed to be portrayed as like a higher being based on the first image with the crucifix on his um, shirt sleeve and then like this and saying I'm the most. Oh, it's great. I love it. Oh! This ties back to what I mentioned before. About how nighttime is never mentioned. This says goodnight, and says you're outside, and he's like staring at you. Which would imply that that is not a good or right thing to do. Spirals, of which he drew a lot. Book pages, alive pages, text font. He seems. Ugh. Her hand is dropped here. And then here, he's a bit more sassy, but he's like kind of scared there. Less expressive. Oh, okay, that's a horse. <laughs> Look, I made the dog. Yeah, so he seems to be a godlike character within this, which is why he's the only one who's able to speak to us. That's not charming at all. Mhm. Mm this is so cool. This is so cool. If I still had Discord Nitro, I would I would make this my 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 banner. I love playing Cookie Clicker while figuring out an ARG. Oh, wonderful! Great work. Welcome home, and it leads back to the rest. Oh, hello, neighbor. Come in. This is what you didn't get to see. Um. Hi, home. Home. It's a little layer of smoke clouds coming up. Boop, 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 boop. That's so fucking cute. Come in. And then you click, and it brings you to the well known place. That is it. I would like to point out the fact that the crucifix is not seen here. The cross is not seen. It's just. Oh. House is also her home is looking. Alright, 
Let's see. What else can we find here? Let me check the news actually. So I can see. Hey, Boo Boos. Latest headlines and updates. Or welcome home. That is not what I wanted. I wanted. Okay, that's. Corp. <laughs> All right. Uh, has received so much love, uh, but even better, you believe me, you know it is out there. You believe me, you know it is out there. With that said, someone has reached an opportunity to showcase their findings publicly for the world to see in person. Mission, a question answer, a professional exhibitor and museum curator who leaves in our happy home just as much as we do. Together, we will get it out. We will get everything out. You will see as we do, neighbor. Always fun. Alright. Uh, although much of the package is unreadable, made up all it, uh, these cards were meant to promote. Mail and time day is found on the back of these cards. Talking to yourself. Perhaps associated with Eddie Deer. Wally and Barnaby are displayed on the front of the package, but they're wearing his uniform. What a charming thought. I wonder if our dear mailman is someone to spend this special day with. We assume it may be a mailbox. <laughs> Poor man. Oof. Let's see if there's anything here at all that isn't these freckles. Nope. Nothing else to select here. That kind of sucks. Huh. Welcome home. Long logo. <laughs> I love this boy. I love this boy so much. I love this boy. I like the eyeball at the bottom here. I like I like how often the eyes are tied in with stuff. I kind of wish they would have hidden something under there. Like underneath this. That would have been kind of cool. Love the difference there. Look at that, dude. Move it into there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's about all that I think is possibly able to be found at this point in time. Which sucks a little bit. It's still being... It's, it's still a work in progress, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is nowhere near completion. Connor Bar. Again, this is only the prologue, and... It's, you know, constantly being updated and everything. It's good to see. I love, I love all of them down here. Hold on, I'm putting this in the motherfucking Discord, dude. Shit. Fuck. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, I've I've seen a video on this. Yeah, I've I've been looking. I've been looking through it. It's just like, uh, we found Imagine. everything so far. Ah. Yeah. You're a little late to the party, boss man. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it's good. I'm glad you're now. Yeah. Do you like so? Is are we looking at the website? Yeah, I'm checking out the website, and then also the um the actual creator's website, which is you know just 
all. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Pigeons. <gasps> My baby! My baby! I don't care. He is so baby girl. I can't fucking <clears throat> give me my baby girl right now. Give me my baby girl right now. Look at my baby girl. He is so baby girl cool, dude. <laughs> He just is! Yeah. Do you see this man? So baby cool. Baby girl. So baby girl. They look very Gays! Wow, them. I agree. They're homos, dude. They're so homos. They're homos. Homosexuals. Homosexuals. Oh. That's fun. Oh, <gasps> they're a DuckTales fan! Fuck yeah, dude! It's the... They're from the Duck Show, I can't remember the name. And DuckTales? Yeah. There's so many... Oh, jump scare. There's so many oh. sillies on here. There's so many... <gasps> sillies! Babies! Exactly! They get it! They're babies! They're my babies! And I'm going... To just pop that in there because they're my babies and my loves, and I hold them very close uh, to my heart. Th the third guy kind of looks like my gym teacher. He <laughs> <laughs> like body. Damn, bro. Damn. Poor Frank, man. Frank, the gym teacher. It's canon now. The best AU. <laughs> Say the best AU. <laughs> My lord. I think, uh, I think the thing behind the house is just also so below. Yeah. I don't yeah. think there's anything special. Um, I've, just, I I've just inspected and everything. Go over to my friends right now. I do think I should put the man down and stay. You can go. Okay. Yeah. You'll be good. Uh, by the way, Mm -hmm. Um, so my Oculus yep. isn't working. No shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, it won't let me play any game. So is it okay if I leave here? Um, I don't know, kid. I don't. Oh, wait, wait. Damn it. Okay. I was hoping to see some hidden text somewhere. I mean, that's really the only thing I'm going to be doing for the day. I know, I just... Fuck. Oh! Wait a minute, I can see the names of these images if I copy them. That, this one is called Friendship. Which is not fitting in the slightest. What is this one called? What are you JPEG? Creepy. Oh no, sorry, kill. What is this one called? Julie! Exclamation point. Dot JPEG. Mm-hmm! So that implies that these are both Julie, then. I like the coloring. It's very it nice. my brain go woo. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let's see. Um, let me highlight this and see what this one's called. Reference.jpg. Okay, then. Sure. <gasps> my man! Power.jpg. Hmm. Big guy. This one is just black and white version of Power. Power BW, yep, that's what I thought. Uh, oh, hello. WallyWally.png. Very specific. He's so beautiful. Mmm. On second mm. thought. Oh, oh, God. Okay. This is only a test.png. I would like to note. Oop. I zoomed in on the wrong fucking thing. This is only a test. That's like flesh underneath his eye right there. Ugh. Yeah. Also his throat is being twisted. Or his neck is being twisted. Oh my god. 
on the scarf. Yeah. At least that's what it looks like. This one. I love this one. Scary. Because you're outside, and it says good night. And you're not supposed to be outside at night. Oh, fuck. I accidentally highlighted all of them. That's not what I meant to do. Not at all what I meant to do. Wally baby. That's literally what that image is called, is Wally baby. Th thanks a lot. <laughs> like baby, no. W. Wally baby. No secrets there. Oh. This page is mm. called From Me to You. Okay. Alive pages. Okay, Bye. I'm gonna go now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright, uh, look, I made a dog. Sure. Sure. He's beautiful, though, dude. Like, this man, this man, what a pretty man. What a, what a, what a, what a pretty, pretty man. I'm trying to find this very specific piece of art that people keep on seeing. And I, other than that one, uh, and I can't fucking find it, and it makes me very upset. Uh, I love cancel culture. <gasps> That's a very sudden thing to say. <laughs> it's interesting, but... It sucks. Weird. It, yeah. So, like... Welcome. Oh. Some people have just been going after an OS... Oh, a sea creator because of apologizing to someone. I mean, <laughs> because of an apology video. Uh, okay, then. Are you familiar with AIB? No idea. Okay. I don't want to get into it right now. <laughs> well, we got enough cryptic shit to focus on, boss. <laughs> okay. So I did notice... That on the rock he's sitting on, there's the eye, which is very much attached to him. There's Barnaby's paw, and then there's Tic Tac Toe again, which he wrote on like one of the messages that someone sent, and I can't remember exactly what he said to them after writing so, but. I don't know, I think it's a little strange that it's like those three things specifically that are standing out. I mean, it said he made a dog, so I'm assuming he made Barnaby, which is why they're so close, which is kind of sad. But. I wonder. Wally! Good boy. Fun. Nope. I just want to try like random shit to see what will happen. Oh! That was entirely an accident! I did not mean to do this one again. That was- I'm not even joking, that was completely an accident. Also, I'm pretty sure that- Yo? Oh, your mom's here? Is she really? Okay, wait, hold on.
Alrighty. Pardon that. Uh. Anyway. This shit just got ten times more terrifying because I am completely home alone now. So I think I'm gonna stop <laughs> so that I don't freak myself the hell out. <laughs> Are you suddenly home alone? Uh, my ba my my little brother was just picked up by his mom. Yeah, so I'm I'm home alone now. Yeah. So uh, that'll be the end of the stream today, chat. Uh, sorry, it was sudden. I was just like, I really want to stream this. But I'm too lazy to make a full announcement, so I'm just gonna fucking go. And then I did. <laughs> um. But, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for coming to the stream. And I will see you all next time. Adios, I love you guys!